Regardless of what other people think about you or I, we both have the best of intentions to be the people we want to be and to live the best life that we can. Now, sometimes that goes really well and sometimes not so much, but the intention to have that good life for ourselves is there, isn't it? So to that end, today I want to share with you a tool that you can use to show you when you're on that path you want to be and when you're not. And that tool is other people. So how does this work? Well, people are mirrors to us. And when we have a very strong positive or negative reaction to another person, it is always an indication that they are bringing up something that we either love about ourselves or hate about ourselves. The highly reactive labels we give to other people are the same highly reactive labels we give to ourselves. Let me give you a few examples. Now, when I was about 21, 22, I used to get so mad at bad drivers. I'd be honking the horn, I'd be giving the finger, I'd be pointing out everything that the other drivers were doing that was wrong. But at 22, guess who was the driver on the road who had only one point left on her license before getting it suspended? That was me. So in this sea of bad drivers, I myself was a terrible driver. And so that high reactivity to those terrible drivers actually highlighted a belief I had about myself, which is that I myself was a bad driver. And you may see this in some drivers in your life. The ones that, that get the angriest at the bad drivers are usually the ones you might not want to get into the car and drive with, right? Now, sometimes the labels are a little bit deeper. So for example, I used to get so mad when people would cut in front of me in line, really would grind my gears. But I myself was not a line cutter. So that wasn't the label I was reacting to. What was the label? Well, at the time I was highly impatient. I would wait my place in line, but I did not wait patiently. I'd be sitting there tapping my toes, frustrated at the person in front of me for taking so long. And so when somebody would cut in front of me, it would really shine a spotlight on my own impatience, which was something that I didn't like about myself. Now, those are both examples of negative mirrors that we might experience with somebody. But this can also happen in a positive way. So for example, maybe it really warms your heart and makes you really happy when you see somebody taking care of someone less fortunate than themselves. Like maybe helping out someone who's needy or you know doing something that's very selfless and very giving. Well, if that's the case, it's shining a spotlight on that part of you that knows that you are someone who cares about other people and who wants to help other people. And you may also experience this, like perhaps let's say that you worked in customer service or you were a server, and now when somebody gives you excellent customer service, you really appreciate it because you know that you used to try to give that same kind of service. So when you see it in somebody else, it's a reflection back on you that, wow, I, I really did a good job too. So remember, when we have really strong reactions, either positive or negative, it's just a mirror back to us about how we feel about ourselves. There's something in that reaction that's shining a light on something we love about ourselves or something we don't love about ourselves. And to be clear, this doesn't mean that if you have a negative reaction, you're a bad person. It just means that there's something you believe about yourself that you don't like. Now at this point, I'd like to ask you a question. Have you had any strong positive or negative reactions to this video? If you have, there means that there's something in this video that's shining a light on something you either love about yourself or something that you don't really love about yourself. Now, I can't tell you what that thing is, only you'll know the answer to that question. But if you're interested in knowing what the answer to the question is, try and look inside, and I promise you'll be able to find it. Thanks for watching.